Oh, Katie Rock, oh, Katie Rock, why must you poke a bear until you get mauled? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I am Old Mofo, and this is my response to Katie Rock, aka Uni Rock TV, Uni Rock, Rock a Lot, whatever he calls himself these days. Uh, it should be Little Leprechaun, but we won't go there. The golden side will soon be mine. <laughs> Now, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I just wanted to clear the air on some things uh, between his old mods and Mr. Katie Rock here. Um, a couple days ago, he dropped a video, and uh, he had some things to say about another old mod of his named Hannah. And I, uh, I admittedly only watched about 20 minutes of it because, uh, good Lord, he's just, he's just boring. I'm so bored, so bored. I've counted my teeth with my tongue and then with my fingers and it's the same number. Sick, I'm bored, so bored. Okay. Um, and with that being said, there were some things he didn't, in there that he didn't exactly tell the truth on. I couldn't, I couldn't say he exactly lied. Well, in one case he did lie, but in another case he didn't quite just put the whole truth out there. So let's, uh, let's go back to uh, first things first. Uh, the reason why I left his Discord server was not because of Katie, regardless of any rumors people may have heard. Um, I did leave during a big to do concerning her but she was not the reason why I left um the whole thing with Katie at that point was Katie Rock kept saying well bring me proof that Katie is you know this type of person this type of person this type of person and to be honest with you I was one of the last ones to even speak up on the, on that situation um as a admin and as a moderator I was trying to keep the peace with everybody and I and I was basically telling people if you can't if you don't like the woman, okay, I, I, I could I see that, just block her. Because she was quite nasty towards a couple of mods and she was quite nasty to some viewers in Unirock's own live chats on his show. So why people would think I left because of her, uh, I don't. I don't know. I get a feeling I know, possibly why, and that was because I created another Discord server, in which I invited like-minded people to come over and have a place to be able to discuss Katie Joy without hurting her feelings because. She would go back and cry to Uni Rock, and then Uni Rock would get on all of us, which is which is a, a, a sad thing because at one point we used to be able to talk about anything in Katie Rock's Discord, and I mean anything. This was one of the reasons why I was invited there was because I would tell you how I thought. I wasn't a yes man, and I would tell you how I thought regardless of what anybody had to say about it. It's now changed. Now it's all, all of his mods are all 100% yes men. They, they won't object to anything that Uni says. And I can prove that here in a couple of minutes. So with that being said, the reason why I left was because of him demodding war. And it wasn't so much that he demodded war. It was how he did it. And had Uni rock given me the opportunity that I requested, which was a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, he would have known this. It wasn't that he demoted war. It's that he pulled war into a room and then right in front of everybody said, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm taking your wrench. And I had, uh, I disagreed with the way he did that. He should have pulled war in, 
privately and said, yo, this is the reason why I'm taking your wrench. It's only temporary. You know, and and gone from there. Had he had done that, some of us probably would never have left. I probably would have out of boredom and, you know, whatnot, but that's, that's just me. So with that being said, I had given War a, a promise that if he left, I was leaving also. And I kept that promise. So on to the next thing. Okay, something else that Katie Rock seems to uh, want to leave out of this story is what led up to the Katie, uh, the Katie thing. So a couple months before all this, uh, he was getting complaints about Katie being just generally being a, a, a piece of shit. And what she it turned out, she, uh, on an individual basis, she is, you know, um, I'm not speaking on anything to do with the Steve thing or anything she's put out there on the internet. I'm speaking as far as what I see with my own two eyes and how she treats people. This is where my opinion is coming from. So with that being said, uh, people were saying, you know, what are we going to do about her? You know, she basically she's being disruptive and just being a general piece of shit. Like I said, and Katie rock said, well, you know, just just chill people you know i only need her around until i finish up this non sequitur documentary that i'm doing and then i'm going to do an uh, an exposed video on her now yeah that's right you heard me he was going to do an exposed video now in a clip that i'm going to play for everybody he stops and says you know because of uh, all these people making complaints about her i had to stop doing work uh I had to stop doing, you know, what I, what I was working on to address these issues. If you go look at my channel, there was a good week and a half where I was bitching because when I would go to do sit down and actually edit a video, prep a live stream, uh, they would have something about Katie. And I would say, fuck it, let's sit down because I wanted it. That was when I was asking for people to bring me the criticism against Katie Joy Paulson. And he also made a statement to us that... Uh, because of all the, the, the Katie, Katie Joy things, that he wasn't going to do his exposed video anymore. That he was just going to throw it all away. I, I don't ever think that he actually did anything to uh, work towards exposing her. Uh, I think that was all just bullshit to begin with. But he did say that he was going to expose her. And so, you know, Go further down the, the road, you know, a couple months later, and here we are, back to Katie. And the last thing that blew up as far as Katie was concerned was that Katie was running around asking a certain member of Uni Rock's Discord what their real name was. Because she is so paranoid of trolls and people out to get her. That for whatever reason, she thought that this bite me now person was a troll or out to get her or whatever the case may have been. I'm still not exactly all too clear on that. Um, but I do know for a fact that Katie was trying to get this person's real name and what she was going to do with that. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate on that, but this is something that Katie Rock isn't too far going about with everybody. He's, he isn't too upfront about this this part of it. So I wanted to uh, make sure that that got into this response video. So on to the next thing. He uh, stated that he lost four mods, which is partially true. You see, there was an avalanche effect from all this that spanned probably a month and a half. So, and here I'll explain. The four that originally left was me, War, Lone Wolf, and Moderate Extreme. Shortly after that, Princess Jermutt, or people know her as PJ, she left. He invited her back. She went back. She stayed for a couple days and then left again. Then shortly after that was Diligent Escape because he had the audacity to question Queen K 
Katie Joy about some people that she might have known or I don't know. I don't know the full story behind that. So I'm not going to really speak on that. But they, anyway, they booted him. They invited him back. And then shortly after that, he either left or he got booted again. I'm not really exactly sure. Shortly after that was Hannah Bananas. And there's an eighth one that he's not talking about, that Uni Rock isn't talking about. And that would be Glow. So it went from four to eight. Now, true, Glow might not, not have left because of me or because of war. But at one point, Uni Rock muted glow for like a week or two it was something crazy like that it was definitely days that he muted this guy for basically no damn reason so why i'm mentioning that i don't know but you know you know just to just to get the numbers right i guess so but with that being said that's eight mods six of which were long time mods so you know, he didn't quite get it right there, but, you know, I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one. Now, the other thing that he flat out lied about was that Hannah Banana was lying to him. In fact, it was Unirock that is lying, and I can prove it. And he made the statement that she was never an admin, which is wrong. As you can see by this screenshot that I'm about to put up here, you'll notice that he tags moderators, Unirot tags moderators and administrators. And you'll notice that there's a difference between the colors, right? Now, if you look at this other screenshot, you'll notice that Hannah Banana, her name is the same color as an admin. So that's... He just flat out lied there. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe, I, I, here, I'll even give him an out, seeing things how he can't even get his year straight. They were two friends that left the Discord server right around the time of the great Discord revolt of 2019. Maybe he didn't even realize that she was an admin. I mean, it wasn't for very long, but she was an admin. So, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I hate to get this little weasel any way out, but... I'll get, you know, it is what it is. I'm just letting everybody know that he's not giving you the full story here. So with that being said, it used to be a rule that Uni Rock would not go after, or, or Uni Rock didn't, would not go after other people's mods or their viewers. And he expected other creators to do the same. Yet in this situation, he is changing his own rules. So with that being said, you know, that's probably not a door you should have left open there, Mr. Unirock, because, uh, you know, you've gotten some of your mods doxed. Actually, factually doxed. Matter of fact, you still have a mod there by the name of Nana that was doxed because of you. And you didn't do nothing. And now you got little simpletons around you that are off running their mouth like Navy text saying that, oh, uh, well, how did he put it? Uh, something to the effect of, uh, I don't know why they're running around here complaining about being a mod. Ain't nobody complaining about being a mod, dude. You know for a fact that's not true about me. So why you would run your dick suckers like that, Navy text? I don't know. I, I, I don't get that point. So... Unirot, I'm going to ask you one time, and this is going to be the last time. I've asked you more than once, but quit putting my name in your mouth. Just quit. This is not a war you want with me. You wouldn't even talk to me man-to-man, one-on-one, and yet you want to start a war with me. You don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that. This is the last warning you're getting, Mr. Unirock. The last one. Then, and I like talking about drama. I've always talked about drama. 
Even back on my main channel, I would do commentary videos about YouTube drama between YouTubers and shit. I've always done this type of video stuff. I've always done it like this. Yes, I'd probably be much more successful if I stuck to one format, but I wouldn't be happy if I did that. So I do it the way I do it. I was ready to move on. I wasn't there to talk about it forever. I was going to move on. I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. I've tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I've no more fucks to give, no more fucks I've tried to get. I'm over my fuck budget and I'm now in fucking debt.